I'm Harrison McLeod. I'm the rector of Christ Church here in Greenville, South Carolina. I'd like to welcome you to our service for the third Sunday in Easter. Uh, the only announcement this week uh, that I'll share with you is that it's, um, it's, it's wonderful to report uh, that we have um, successfully concluded a Discovery Weekend. For, for us, that means uh, we've invited uh, uh, new members onto our campus who are exploring uh, whether they feel as though they're called to make Christ Church their home. Uh, so Discovery Weekend is a wonderful opportunity to get to know a little bit more about our church here at Christ Church or the Episcopal Church. Uh, and so I would encourage any of you, if you um, are interested in learning more about Christ Church uh, in particular or the Episcopal Church in general, uh, please call the church and we can tell you when the next Discovery Weekend is scheduled. Well, why don't we pause for just a moment uh, before we begin our worship service this morning. Thanks again for joining us. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of the bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the first epistle of John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel of St. Luke. Jesus himself stood among the disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, On Monday, Thursday, we got some great news here at the church. Uh, We got a communication from the bishop that said uh, we could increase our attendance uh, to 30% of our legal occupancy. Um, That meant... Uh, we could increase our attendance here uh, to about 225. That was the good news. Uh, the not-so-great news was that we were, um, we were still uh, obliged to follow the CDC guidelines and maintain six feet of physical distance between uh, people not in the same family. So uh, for us, that meant we could really only increase to about 175. Uh, But that was still about 40 more than we could accommodate uh, earlier that day. So uh, with some real excitement and enthusiasm, we we crafted an e-blast. We we sent it out to the parish and invited anybody who had been uh, sort of locked out of Easter services to register and and come be with us on Easter morning. Uh, We we had a flurry of activity. Um, A a, a good number of additional people registered for services Uh, And when all was said and done, we had about 621 people uh, who worshipped in person on Easter morning. Since this pandemic has begun, we've been uh, not only attentive to the people who are in church with us, but we're we're also uh, pretty attuned uh, to all those people who worship with us online. And we know that um, 1,100 people worshipped with us online for Easter. So, um, the optimist in me says how wonderful we had. We had 1,700 people uh, worship with us on Easter. Uh, The pessimist in me knows that uh, pre-pandemic, we'd have about 3,500 people uh, at Easter services uh, here at Christ Church. So, so that means, again, the pessimist in me says we had 1,800 people who feel like Uh, they may have missed Easter. The good news for us is uh, we have a second chance. Today, we have another chance. And that's really good news. 
Uh, that was the same for the disciples. Think about their experience. Uh, really, uh, think about that first Easter morning. Uh, all those who went out to the tomb early that first Easter morning, all they, all they really saw was an empty tomb. Uh, nobody, nobody saw the resurrection. Uh, Mary Magdalene summons up her courage. She looks in the tomb and she sees uh, this solitary figure dressed in dazzling white who says, uh, you're looking for Jesus of Nazareth. He's not here. He's risen. And, and Mary, Jesus' mother, uh, after she turns around from looking in the empty tomb, she sees somebody she thinks might be the gardener. She asks him where they've laid the body of her friend or son Jesus. Uh, and and um, he says her name. And in that moment she says, Rabbi. And, and, and we think perhaps there's, there's just a glimmer of, res- uh, of recognition. But, but the truth is, it's, it's not until that evening... Uh, after the morning, uh, that, that Jesus clearly appears to his disciples. I like to imagine that room. Uh, the disciples are all cloistered away out of fear, out of confusion or anxiety. And, and, and through those open doors, uh, Jesus mysteriously appears. And, and he looks at that group and he says, Shalom. Peace be with you. And then I imagine as they all shrink back uh, in in fear or amazement or wonder or or questioning, he he looks at them and he says, I smell fish. Y'all got anything to eat? What question? I think of all the questions Jesus could have asked. um, Where were you all on Friday afternoon? Or... Why are you all up here hiding uh, in fear in this room? Or, um, don't you all remember I told you I'd be back in three days? The question he asks is, have you got something to eat? The more I've thought about it, the more I think, what, what a wonderfully appropriate question. How, how perfect. Uh, Jesus has to have had an appetite. He, he hadn't eaten for three days. When Jesus comes to them, of, of course, he, He's hungry. But, but not just hungry, He is eager to, to demonstrate to the disciples that it's not a ghost they're seeing. It's their friend, risen from the dead and returned to be in full relationship and companionship with them. When, when Jesus accepts that piece of fish, when, when He accepts that, that food and satisfies His human hunger, He demonstrates that, that He is indeed a human being, flesh and blood, just like any of them, just like any of us. When Jesus takes that food, His resurrection begins to be celebrated and known and shared. I imagine the disciples are cloistered away in that room because they are, they are filled with, with confusion or with anxiety. Maybe they just feel a little left out or abandoned because the one that they loved and knew and shared life with for three years has, has left them. And, and maybe we're not so different. Maybe we've gathered here together in this companionship, in this fellowship, because uh, we're, we're confused about what the last year has meant. Or, or maybe we're anxious about what the, the next day's months or years may mean. Or maybe we just feel a little left out because we missed Easter. And the great good news for us is that that Jesus comes to us as one of us and we are assured that He he shares our confusion, He shares our anxiety, He even shares our feelings of being left out. But, But more than anything else, Jesus reminds us that He experienced new life, and we, miraculously through Him, also experience new life. Jesus comes to us, joins us in this meal, and, and assures us 
that, that even if we've missed Easter, we haven't missed the resurrection. believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Give us, all, give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others into your honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to, our, to your mercy all who have died that your will for them may be fulfilled and we pray that we may share with all our saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bring to God all of our petitions and thanksgivings using the words which Christ himself has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.